what's goody what's popping youtube it's your boy who's man you already know what time it is we're about to get into this 32 team uh playbook and um yeah so we are using the buccaneers buccaneers right now they have i mean argue that they do have on paper and arguably the best team in the game um Tom Brady's not mobile at all, but it doesn't matter because of the abilities he has. Now, if you're playing uh, Mutt and you have a gunslinging quarterback, it's going to be great. Or not gunslinging, but um, hot route master quarterback is going to be great. Even if you don't, it's still going to be good because of the things you can do. It's just hot route master makes every playbook better. Um, so let's get into it. All right. So first formation is we're going to go into type um, and you see my. Uh, audibles these are the main plays I'm gonna go under under gun tight doubles um, so we have uh, quick base mesh spot flood Z spot love all those plays and I'm currently in curl right now let me flip it back I accidentally did that I'm in curl right now uh, curls a good cover three beater a couple of things you can do streak Gronk streak Evans and just watch havoc Boom. You can always fit him in there. Um, you can either fit him in there like that, or sometimes it's just a one play touchdown. So if you see that they're sending a nice little blitz, you can either block Gronk like that, run it like this here. Boom. You have your corner out, and especially if you have the Buccaneers, I mean, Antonio Brown's gonna be beating everybody on that side of the field. You know, you streak Evans, you do that, or you can just block your running back. And I'll slide protect um, him there. Just put him on a curl. It's always nice to have a curl. It takes those zones back enough to where you can fit in the drag if you just want something quick. Another thing that you can do is if you want to keep Evans on that flat route, bring Godwin over and streak Godwin for the clear out. Now, one thing that's nice about this is that route by Gronk, you have kind of like a makeshift screen on that side, which usually you bring everybody out on the left side like that. People are going to think that you are, um, you know, running their corner to that side. So maybe they shift everybody over to the right. Boom. It's, it's one on one, really. And you have Gronk. Sometimes that route, uh, sometimes Gronk picks up that, but sometimes not. You also have your um, quick base, which quick base is quick base. The Bucks running backs aren't the best. They're not the worst either. They have three really good running backs. Next, we're going to go into mesh spot. Mesh spot is, I like mesh spot in general, even if you run it straight up this way right here. Mike Evans just gets in a nice part of the field. Now, cover two, cover three. If you also think that they're, you know, blitzing a lot, can streak brown as well. And it pretty much, boom. And, I mean, it's wide open there. You see Mike Evans isn't faster than, um, who was that? Denzel Ward. But, he, I mean, just the route running is just so good. And also, don't sleep on that. Um... Uh, I threw it wrong. She was to lead it inside and throw it uh, low or low ball it and lead it inside. So I'm gonna run this again. Low bullet pass like that. Usually you get it fits in there. If you need something quick, we'll run this one more time. Streak Brown. Not to mention you do have your drag by Gronk and Gronk is big and strong, so he's gonna break it, break them tackles. So we're gonna move on to flood. I like flood stock, just flood straight up stock, simply because it has everything you need. And I threw that super late, but that route by Gronk. Now, if they really anticipate you uh, doing the corner route over there, then, I mean, they're gonna, wow, he's breaking all the tackles. They're gonna always fall asleep on that late in route. And it's funny because I was watching a, a YouTube video earlier and somebody was running that play. And uh, as you see there, I mean, it's wide open over the middle. 
but I, I seen somebody just kept kept giving it up, kept giving it up over and over and over. And that late route by Bernard is nice sometimes. Um, I mean, it's late, so usually that flat gets occupied. Not to mention, this is just a good cover three beater in general. And you know, you have that there. So you have Z spot. I went Street Godwin. And then what you're gonna see is this here. Boom. You have Gronk there, which Gronk is great. He's not fast, but he's great. Great route runner, great blocker. Another thing you can do, <laughs> which I like doing, is dragging uh, Evans. And even if they blitz, they're gonna have to respect Gronk going down the field. That usually gives Evans enough space. Uh, one thing that I like doing, which is super underrated, since all the routes on the field are going to the left or the right side of the field, bring him over, send the drag going. You can wait a little bit and boom. Especially if they're playing man, that's Tyreek. Tyreek is, that, that might be a touchdown there. Cover two, it just does a great job against cover two if you streak him there. And why they stop like that, I'll never know. Another thing is, I like running that play stock as well. Godwin just gets in a nice part of the field. And even if he doesn't, that was a little iffy there, but even if he doesn't, um, he just drags them down just enough. All right, so another way that I like running this is just straight up stock, mainly because who he was throwing it to there, I don't know. Um, that route by B right here, depending on how early you throw it, he'll keep running. Another way I like running uh, Z spot is just straight up stock for that reason there. The in route is just people sleep on this in route, backside in route here. And what those hitches do is they pull them down just enough and you have your in route. Especially on man, that man that's a man beating route there. You know, if they, if they don't, you know, I'm just hurrying up. And then also sometimes that B route just gets in a nice spot of the field. And you see there's the potential with that in route. Another thing with this is it just has great potential with the, um, when they're blitzing super heavy, you see there. Next we're gonna go into doubles. Um, and I'm gonna come out in PA Dagger. I already have my audible set up. PA Dagger is definitely one of my favorite plays. Uh, I run it a lot. Um, Wow, how he got there, I don't know. The drag route is amazing uh, against cover three and man, um, simply because for some reason, folks have, wow, folks have trouble guarding that that drag route. It's Gronk, he's not even that fast, but uh, y'all seen on one of my last plays that <laughs> I scored a touchdown, not off dagger, but off of that there. And then you also have this route by Evans, which is man beater, uh, especially if you have a really good number one or number two option. And then, you know, if they send a blitz like that again, boom, you have Evans in the middle of the field. And the thing about this play too is, um, usually the user is going to focus more on this drag because of how close the camera is. So there's that. You can dump that off if you need to. Now, if you don't feel comfortable, you just wanna block your running back. You can do that as well. But you see there, it creates kind of like a little pick for Gronk. Also cover three, I mean, boom, in the middle of the field, just creates a lot of problems. So the last play that I like using is angle smash. Um, one reason being this concept on the left side of the field is crazy. Also, you have the Texas route by Bernard. And another thing is the comeback route. Now, if you want more room for the comeback route, you can just send him straight to the flat like this. 
and that gives you more room in the middle of the field with Bernard or whatever running back you're using, Reggie Bush, Caffrey, Caffrey, McCaffrey. Um, it just gives you more space to, you know. So usually I'll put Evans on a smoke screen and then I'll just put Gronk straight in the flat like so. It just drags him down more. And then you can throw that to Brown if you need to. If it's just man, you can just pick whoever, whoever you want to pick on in this play if it's man do that and you'll see here it's cover two and you know war doesn't help out because it looks like brown is going on a vertical so then it just gives so much room and especially with gronkowski it drags them down more and then also you have boom godwin those corner routes are deadly, especially against a linebacker. If they do that, take advantage of that all day. So next they have Trey. Um, I probably just set it up like inside zone, um, PA post shot, verticals drag is nice. And then they also have level sale. And then I just come out and like China smash. You can, you can always hit up either the corner of the field I'd put him on a drag and then put um, Brown on a, a smoke screen like that. Um, what's going to end up happening is they're going to probably focus more on Godwin. Um, it's either going to give you Evans for the deep corner or Brown. And you'll see here they chose that. So you hit Brown up, pick your yards. Or... If it's man, that route by Gronkowski is nice. Uh, any double move, any double move in this game just torches people. Like so, and you see they drift back. They drift back, hit your uh, underneath, and then if they don't drift back like that I mean you just take take what you can take what they give you basically is what this is if you see that corner uh, over Brown step back first and then the corner over Godwin step inside towards you first just throw it immediately and sometimes you know you have one-on-one -on -one over there with Mike Evans take advantage of that boom and you can fit it in there. So next, we're gonna go over this post. I mean, it's post, it's <laughs> three crossing routes. Usually you take which one you can. And right there, the second round by Godwin, especially on cover two or something like that, is highly, highly underrated. We're going PA post. Just watch how much space there is in the middle of the field for Godwin. And sometimes that is a touchdown. Not many people play cover two, but take advantage of it if you can. We'll run this one more time and you'll see. So that time they don't, but even still, I threw it late, but even still, um, <clears throat> it does get open. This isn't, uh, I mean, you can, there's so many different type things you can do. Same with the drag. It's set up just a smidge differently, but it torches man. So if they don't have anything uh, on the right side of the field, if they're not putting their you know zone drops or you know if they just run straight up man and they don't have anything over there, you have that. Not to mention the drag. Always nice. It's going opposite of everything. So take your your route underneath. <clears throat> so level sail. A couple of things you can do. You can leave it stock, to be completely honest. You can leave it stock. You know, if they if they go strictly after Gronkowski, hit your flat. Um, you know, if they go straight to the flat like that, hit Gronk. But one thing that I do love doing with this play is putting the number one on the left on a deep uh, comeback route. Because for some reason, nobody ever thinks about comeback routes, ever. 
nobody ever thinks about comeback routes. They have tight. I went over tight in one of the formations. Uh, this Bucks post shot, one of the oldest tricks in the book. This is the just Street Godwin right there. And there you go with the corner route. You can even leave it stock because this route by, I mean, just torches. Whoever is trying to go out there to guard just straight torches them because there's not many routes that go out that way. Um, this route by Gronk is also nice. Boom. This seams play is, is wild. Basically what you can do is you can keep them there and just move Godwin out this way and create more, you know, more lanes. Boom. Create something like this. And you can even run it stock. And you have that spot over there by Evans. You have stack wide flex, which this can be nice. Uh, corner strike is nice. Um, uh, y sale is nice. Um, you know, anything like that's going to be nice. Spread, I love spread, especially with this kind of quarterback that, you know, Tom Brady, there's so much you can do on spread. Uh, different kinds of beaters all day. Um, you have trips H back week. Trip sets always do good again in Madden. And then you have your empty formations. I normally don't run empty too much, um, but if you want to come out and empty and then, you know, um, audible down, you can. Um, but that is going to be it for this playbook um, and the gun formations. I'll go over the single back. That'll be a quicker video, but um, that's it for this one. So if y'all do enjoy these, go ahead. Like I said earlier, hit the like button. That'll just let me know y'all like these and y'all want more. Um, we're going to be playing with the Bucks here soon. And I'm out. Peace.